Jesse, you've opened up to the house about wanting to find the right girl. I'm telling the truth. Like, I do want to settle down eventually and, like, meet someone I actually want to hang out with outside of having sex. So I'm looking for a girl that I could, like, actually spend time with. I'm not just, like, trying to hook up with these girls. I, I just think there was no good way to be single in this house. And the way I talked about, like, yeah, I'm kind of, like, looking for someone that I really like. But I'm going to date and hook up with girls in the meantime rub the girls the wrong way when I should have just been like, hey, I'm rubbing here to have the, fun. Rubbing them the right way? I should have been rubbing them the right way yeah. by just looking to have fun and if somebody nice comes along, then somebody comes along. It's very normal to be in a phase where you just kind of want to date and you're not looking for your end game just yet. I had a short, believe it or not, a short phase of that where I was just like dating around. I wish I knew you like, then, that would've been fun. But I knew eventually I, I wanted a husband. <laughs> I think that like Jesse was confusing though because Jesse, I mean, be like, oh, I really like, you know, I'm looking for the one. And I'm just like, are you though? How married are you? The girl is two minutes away. Are you going? Yeah. Show me in there. He's looking for the one, but just like not right now. I mean, and he would tell us about like every girl he hooked up with. Yeah, too. and that was like, he was hiding like this it. is juicy. Jesse's gonna tell everybody everything, his entire business. No, I think he has to just talk about it. He loves gossiping. He, I feel like we give Jesse a little bit more time. He's gonna be right in the bed. Yeah. Just no, chat, 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 chat. Sure. He's like, who? And he has facial expressions. Yeah. He's always he gets like, into it. He has a crazy giggle. Jesse doesn't have to do. They just literally flock to him. Like he's just getting laid left and right and fine. doesn't have to do anything about it. Which is it. fine, but I feel like if you're trying to look for your partner, you have to actively try to look for your partner. Yeah, but you I can't don't have to everything work that, that hard. Moves. I think he's just specific and picky about what he wants. Like I think he's got a, a whole. So list. am I. I'm not f***ing everything that moves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I know the list. <laughs> She has to be outgoing, does what Jesse wants. <laughs> that sounds terrible. No, no it's about. like I want to have a girl who I like really respect her opinion and she can help me with my life and I can help her with hers. And That's beautiful. It's like a, a best friend. Oh. I wish you were a girl. <laughs> If you're in a club, you're single, you're having a fun time, Jesse Solomon comes over to you, he works his charm, this tall... With that big gate. The gate. The gate. Would you? I, I would. The answer is yes. I would. Yeah. Three drinks in? Yeah, I probably would. Three? Yeah. I've done more for less. Like, I wouldn't <laughs> yeah. take him seriously. It would not be consistent. Like, I wouldn't be like, oh, we're dating now. It'd be like, a, oh. What if you asked you on a date? I would go. Wow, I can't believe you're dating Jesse Solomon now. <laughs> yeah, this is how rumors get started. <laughs> okay. One day it's Johnny Bananas and the next day it's Jesse. <laughs> Paige, you talked to Lindsay about the wedding. I'm all about being a runaway bride. Car is hot. No. Okay, until she's ready to come down the aisle, the car is getting warmed up. I if you like want to change your mind, if you we're gone. don't have a friend that yeah. when you get engaged says, and just a reminder, you don't have to do this right. if you don't want to. You don't have any real friends. You don't have any real friends. Yeah. Are you positive? Because if you're not, it's way easier to call off or postpone a wedding than it is to get divorced yeah. two months later. I felt like Lindsay didn't have a friend like that because Danielle was off doing Danielle things. And so I was like, I felt this like need to be like, hey, you don't have to, you don't do, have this. to do this. We'll get you right out of it. I was asked this. A lot Several last times. summer. The reason I always said no is yeah. because I truly believe relationships take work, partnership takes work, marriage takes work. Guess what? Like life takes it's like work. It's like housekeeping issues. You're gonna go through life, and like there's gonna be ebbs and flows and ups and downs, and like I'm just like yeah, like we're gonna still be figuring things out in 50 years from now. There's gonna be other another new set of issues. In five years from now, there's gonna be a different set of issues that when you we have need to kids, work it's out. Like, when you do, I do like, not run away yeah. from working hard on a relationship. That does not scare me. And I think that's scared him. the difference. I think Paige is actually pretty wise, and I give her credit for putting Lindsay on that spot for it's actually also, being real and be like. Like, okay, like you guys are kind of still not really right. Let's take some time. I think that is actually the right response versus postpone. What do you mean? Like, 
it, it's just a, I think a more mature way to look at it. Had that topic of conversation ever come up behind closed doors with you and Lindsay? Yeah, we, there was a particular instance I remember very vividly, which was she was really adamant about having like a, a fall 2023 wedding date. We got the ball rolling a little late on planning, so we were now like left with like November. And I was thinking in my head like, November's kind of a weird month, like Thanksgiving, then holiday, like what's the rush? And my, my comment to her like, well, why don't we just look at January? And that caused a, a moment for us to like, fight about. Like and, I, fight. and I realized right there, I mean, basically it was like, we're doing this now because she wants to have children. And any longer, you know, I understand women have their biological clock and there's risk factors and all of that. But the longer the wedding took, the longer it was going to be for her to have a child. Again, I understand that, but also, like, we need to, like, make sure that we're right and got the right parts and pieces before we even go to that next phase. Anything that I witnessed this summer, I was like, this is not any, like, relationship ending. Like, this is, like, the final chord of it. But I'm like, Not you need to like work through, like again, also, relationships like, what are the f***ing issues? The issues are that I question you about your career? I've been thinking what about a, like a, a sports bar, non-alcohol. Listen, well, so. I don't know about uh, brick and mortar. I, I, totally, I, it's, it's sorry, risky. I'm going to have to say no to that one. <laughs> the issues were mostly on his part. I guess I could see that you were both trying to work hard at it, you know? At what point does it... Well, some people are used to working harder than others. But like, at what point is working hard too hard? Well, the problem is, is I have no. this like wild capacity for <laughs> and drama and... Yeah. I feel like you have like normalized it in your life. So you're like, right. it, everything should be a little bit of a struggle. Well, when I don't play victim. Much. I work through things instead of like, like being like, oh, this is, whoa, is me. Yeah. Like, I'm like, let's go like mm -hmm. let's figure this out let's go let's do this let's do that like I think solutions based versus like problems yeah based. problem submissive Amanda at dinner you and Kyle have a disagreement about moving out of the city I mean you know I can't wait to have like a yard and a home I want to sit on my front porch and just like drink my coffee and watch the sunset that would drive me insane like a part of me like wants a farm and just like chickens and goats and Kyle's not there yet at all <laughs> I need like a change of scenery. You're over the city. Or even over the apartment. Kyle, are you willing to compromise for what obviously she wants? I mean, we're, we're trying to like think through it. I mean, obviously. That's a no in my book, but. I was just like, do they, do they not talk at home about like literally any of this stuff? Or like, wouldn't we have like hired some do. of this stuff We do, I think he just before? like all of a sudden like changes his mind. <laughs> I do want a house where my kids can play in the yard and, and play with their neighbors, but we don't have kids yet. We're not even trying to have kids. I also would feel completely cut off from society. Amanda's okay with that, I'm not. But the thing that scares me the most is like, if we prematurely jump out to the burbs, I just feel like I'm gonna be trapped. Amanda is very content sitting on the couch watching TV. Like, she's not good at keeping up with her friends and making efforts to be social with them. Like. If I work a lot, I need a social outlet. And I would feel completely cut off from like society. He's just gonna have FOMO when he's in New Jersey. Oh, for sure. I think he's missing other things and he's summarizing it as loneliness. And that's why I really think that he needed to go to like therapy on his own to figure out. Has he started like, doing that? No. Maybe he's more scared about the future than he he's lets on. He's terrified. Yeah. We're not truly functioning as like this partnership where it's like, all right, you do this, I do that. You know, like I'm gonna work and pay the bills. You can help cook dinner. And I just feel like there's just so much onus on me. I just can't even imagine taking on the responsibility of owning a house. Cause I just feel like I, I if, it, if, if home ownership is anything else, is, is like anything else in our relationship, it, everything's gonna fall on me. Like, I wanna think about like quality of life. I wanna think about What's the town like? You know, is there a downtown? Or is it just a freaking sprawling McMansionville? I mean, that, that's like the stuff nightmares are made of from my perspective. Like, I love, an, I love like an old downtown. Sure. This is one of the only times I get 
where Kyle's coming from. I get that he doesn't want to move out to New Jersey and like buy a house yet and have kids yet because he feels like he has to be in the city for his business or he'd have to come back in each morning. But also before they got married, Amanda immediately wanted to have a baby and then when they got married, she didn't. When I'm in the city and like around all my friends here and going out, I'm like, oh my God, I'm not ready for kids. It's terrifying. And then when I go hang out with my college friends and my friends from home who have kids who are pregnant, I'm like, oh my God, I want this life so bad. Like I want to get pregnant right now, which is also part of the reason I want to move to the suburbs to really feel like, you know, let's like ready for a kid. The yeah. city doesn't make me feel ready for a kid. But we did talk, when we had a dinner with my parents, my dad brought up an amazing point that he thinks the first step would just be like getting a different apartment in a different neighborhood that has outdoor space, yeah. that like is more family oriented. Would you road. move Loverboy HQ too? Well, he's, yeah, he's looking for like a work live space that's like, he found you one, love that. He found one that was like three stories and like the first floor would be everyone working and then like the second floor was the bedroom and the third floor was the kitchen living room and I was like... I feel like that's not the answer. Why don't you talk to him? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe he'll <laughs> listen to you. Maybe.